Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Pharma Just. Myself Dr. Haimavati. So in the present video we will be discussing about what is homology modeling along with a case study. So before beginning the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Now let's begin our video. So before uh, and knowing what is uh, discussing about what is homology modeling we need to understand what are the different methods of structure determination we have two different methods one is experimental technique and another one is theoretical or computational techniques so for structure determination so why are we performing homology modeling so we are performing homology modeling because we need a structure for doing molecular docking or virtual screening whatever it is because we want to identify certain leads or inhibitors for a particular protein so the protein database contains uh, different uh, protein structures which are available which are uh, uh, brought about by experimental techniques or theoretical techniques so the experimental techniques are x-ray nmr and cryo electron microscopy so when it is not possible to uh, get a protein structure using the experimental techniques because of the different experimental challenges or uh, facilities or etc so what we have to do we have to go perform homology modeling so in homology modeling what are the different steps we'll be discussing now so in homology modeling experimentally determined protein structures are used to product, predict the conformation of another protein which is having a similar amino acid sequence so for example because of the human genome projects and uh, sequencing of different model organisms we have a number of sequences so countless sequences of uh, information is available in the different sequence databases so all the sequence databases they contain the sequences of these proteins of this uh, different human organism as well as model organisms but there is no 3d structure for these sequences so whatever 3d structures are available they are present in the protein data bank but apart from that there are numerous sequences without any 3d structure so in this case what we can do we have to perform homology modeling so this homology modeling what it does is uh, so in this we take our sequence which is not having any 3d structure and we compare it with to the similar family of proteins for example if you are studying a protein which belongs to a protease family so we search for database which is having uh, 3d structures of the protease uh, family group so when we compare the structure of the protein then this sequence is aligned to that family of proteins and a template structure is predicted so based on the prediction based on certain similarity criteria for example if both the target and template sequence here the target sequence is our protein which is not having a structure and template protein is the protein which is having a structure so these both are aligned and if the alignment has a more than 30 percent sequence identity then that protein is taken for 3d model generation so this assumption mainly is where this approach is mainly based on the assumption that a small change in the conformation results a small change in the sequence results only a small change in structure that means the conformation or the structure of the protein is highly conserved than the sequence so therefore if any if you make any small changes in sequence that if any amino acid is added or deleted or remutated it leads to only a small change in the structure of the protein so based on this assumption homology modeling is performed so here we take sequence of the proteins and we subject it to different algorithms and programs and the 3d model is generated what are the different steps in homology modeling so the first step is the template selection so we take the protein which uh, the target protein that is the protein without the 3d structure and we compare it with two different databases like the blast database 
and we identify a template which is having a sequence identity of more than 30 percent and we do the sequence alignment so the target sequence and the template sequence are aligned then the 3d model is generated using different servers like a swiss model fire or programs like modeler and the generated 3d model is validated so because it is a computational model you need to validate it so that is uh, whether it is stereochemically go correct or not and whether it is a stable molecule stable protein or not after that we can use it for structure based drug design so for this uh, i have chosen a case study so this case study i have chosen this article this is my own publication in molecular diversity journal of Spring, uh, springer publications so this is a structure based drug design synthesis and screening of mma1 inhibitors as novel anti tb agents the reference for this article i will give in the description box if you are interested uh, to for read further about this uh, case study you can refer to the link in the description box so in this what i have done is i have taken a protein which is known as mycolic methyl transferase mme1 so this mme1 protein it is not having any 3d structure so i compared it with uh, i have taken uh, compared with in the data uh, blast database and obtained the template as 1kp9 so when i perform the sequence alignment for this target and template so this is the sequence alignment of this uh, proteins and after that the 3d model was generated using modeler so it is having different uh, alpha structure alpha helices beta sheets and loops and it is also having an embellishment pattern which is unique to this family of uh, methyl transferases protein and after that uh, i performed the validation of this protein model so for validation i have uh, used ramachandran plot prosa energy plot and uh, prosa z plot so after subjecting it to all this quality tests the protein was uh, uh, observed that it is a good quality protein having a good stereochemical quality and it is energetically stable protein so hence it can be used for further study for structure based drug design and the different tools and web servers available for homology modeling are swiss model modeler fire2 cypred robetta raptorx bhagirath scwrl that is side chain confirmation prediction tool mol ide and prime prime is a paid software from schrodinger and remaining are uh, free softwares most of them i suppose that swiss model swiss model modeler fire to our free softwares so we can use these different uh, tools and web servers for developing our own homology model they are available free of cost and modeler is academic uh, academic version is also free of cost for students and researchers so we can use these uh, different web servers for generating our own 3d model for the protein which is not having any 3d structure so this is about homology modeling and the case study so i hope you like the video so if you like the video do not forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel for more videos so see you in the next video thank you for watching the video